Now we come to color codes of resistors. This is a carbon resistor. In this resistor, you have four bands. You have four bands, different colors. Now, how we explain these bands, these different colors? So, in this carbon resistor, you will see that you have three bands close to each other and one band slightly far away. So, these three close to each other will give you the digit that you need to know the value of the resistance. For example, this it has a certain value. How I determine it using the colors on the resistors. So the first three that are close to each other will give you the value of the resistor and the fourth one that is slightly apart will give you tolerance. Tolerance means it may have a range of value. For example, if I have a resistor of 100 ohm and its tolerance is 10%, I'll write plus or minus 10%. This means that the resistor, it does have a value of 100 ohm, but it can vary by 10%. This 10% is called the tolerance. And here I have placed it as 10%. So 100 ohm plus or minus 10%, it means it can be greater by 10%. That's why you have plus 10%. Or it can be smaller by 10%. That's why you have minus 10%. So if I take 10% of 100, I'll get 10 ohm. So if I take such a resistor, the value of the resistance will vary between 90 ohm to 110 ohm. Okay, it is 100 ohm, but with a tolerance of 10%. 10% of 100 becomes 10 ohm. And if it is plus, it becomes 110 ohm. And if it is minus 10%, it will be 90 ohm. So if I check the, the value of the resistor using an ohm meter, like you have for current and ammeter, for resistance you have an ohm meter. It measures the resistance of the resistor. Now, if I place an ohm meter across this resistor, it can give me any value between 90 ohm and 110 ohm, and it will still be valid because it is written it has a color here representing the 10 percent of tolerance so the ohm meter may give me any value between 90 and 110 and it will be a correct value of the resistance now i come up with how to read the color codes so you can see here i drew the three bands that are close to each other on my left the first color the first band will give me the first digit now you have a table here giving you which color representing which value. This you don't need to learn by heart. You will be given for exam purposes. So if it is black, it represents a zero value. If it is brown, it represents a value one, red a value two, orange value three, and so on. So the first band, I just check the color what will be given here with the value there. Let's say I take the first color to be blue. Let's say in the resistor, the first one is blue. I go to my table. Blue is number six. So I write six here. First one, it's blue. I go to the table. Blue means six. And it gives me the first digit of the resistance. I place six here. Let's say the second one is red. The second one is red. I go to my table. Red represents a value 2. I place 2 here. Second band, second digit. So it is a second digit for the resistance. Now, the third one. Let it be orange. Orange, I go to my table. Orange gives me 3. And the third one gives me the number of zeros. How many zeros I have to add to the value here? So if a range is three, this means I have to put three zeros. Or I can write 62. The first one blue is six. I place it here. The second one is red. It's two. I place two here. 
The third one is already it's free. I can multiply by 10 power 3. It's the same thing. Either I add the number of zeros here. It's free because already is free. I can put three zeros here or just multiply by 10 power 3. It's the same thing. And this is the value of the resistance. I repeat, just a recap. First one, first digit. From the color blue, I get six. I have written six here. Second band, second digit. I have red, red is two. I place two here. Third is orange, orange is three. I put three zeros or I multiply by 10 power three. So this gives me the value of the resistance. Now, the fourth band that is here, the fourth band, it gives me the tolerance level. And for tolerance, if the color is gold, it is plus or minus 5%. If the color is silver, it is plus or minus 10%. All these you will be given in question. You don't have to remember. Okay? If it is gold, 5%. If it is silver, 10%. Let's say it is silver in color. So silver means plus or minus 10%. So what I do, it becomes 62,000 ohms plus or minus 10%. So the value of the resistance can vary by 10% greater plus 10% or 10% smaller, that is minus 10%. So if I calculate 10% of this, it is 62,000 here. If I take 10% of this, it becomes 6,200. So I can take 62,000, I add to 6,200 for plus 10% and for minus 10% I subtract 6,200 so that I get the range where the resistance can vary.